Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Pisces, I also appreciate you reaching out and hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. Thank you for that. And if you haven't hit that subscription button, thanks for hitting that button right there. Appreciate it. Appreciate all your support and all your blessings. Definitely want to thank all my Pisces that have reached out and blessed me with donations. I always want to take a minute. Oh, and Ten of Pentacles jumped out right there. Many of you, very kind of you. I appreciate them all, large or small, huh? Pisces, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Pisces that have reached out for private readings with me. Always a blessing to get to know you on a more personal level. And a big thank you and for your understanding. I'm still not able to keep up with all the requests for readings. I try. I definitely do try, but many of you know I'm not able to. Anyway, thank you for all your understanding. Thank you for all your gifts. You guys are the best. I love you. Appreciate you. Quick announcement. My next uh, Sunday fun day will be December 8th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Pisces, I hope you can be there. Party ain't the same without you. That's for sure. All right, here we go. Let's play some cards. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of December 2019. I'm going to be looking at love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, home, work, family, all that good stuff we got going on. I myself, I'm going to be focused on love. That's because I love to read love cards. And we all know there's no possible way these can be for every Pisces on the planet. So if this general reading resonates with you, run with it, have fun with it. If it doesn't, have fun throwing it out the door. Let's just have some fun today. All my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. I love you guys. I want to remind you that even though I'm going to be saying Pisces a lot, this can very well play out from your perspective. It is tarot. It's source. It's YouTube. They have a way of putting these videos in front of who needs to look at them and all of that. So let's fire up our intuition because these can play out vice versa in all kinds of different ways. Let's see if you're in the story, if your friend's in the story. It's all about us develop, developing our discernment and all those spiritual giftings. huh? So let's play some tarot. Chop your cards for a minute right there, Pisces. Let's go with this. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tower I Love Team, Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. Can I, I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Pisces. Cut in the deck. Gonna throw out the classic Celtic cross with the Terra Illuminati. Gonna throw a clarification on the entire spread with the Witch's Tarot. A handful of the Romance Angels cards and a couple of overall my 22 major arcana out of my beloved starman david bowie tarot here we go pisces first card out six of cups look at that man six of cups is it's a card of sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times were good and things were sweet it's a soulmate energy life partner twin flame past life lover possibly showing up in your world here we go let's see what crosses over six of cups oh ace of cups showing up there water energy cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising that's an ace it's about a new beginning between some lovers right here uh, they may have gone away, or you may have gone away, or 
Could be somebody brand new, an old lover from another life and all that. Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is absolutely about a direct connect with the divine. Ace of Cups is about loving yourself first and foremost. Healing your heart, healing your mind. Ace of Cups is about love and all the possibilities showing up here. My Ace of Cups can talk about some unspoken love being spoken. Here we go. Nice opening for a love spread. I don't think it gets any sweeter than that in the heartbeat of the Celtic cross for love. Base of the spread. Yeah, there they are. My two soulmates. Five of Pentacles. There's two of them in this card. These are past life lovers. They come and play with each other incarnation after incarnation. Five of Pentacles says that these two, uh, you know, this is that car uh, being out in the cold, being separated from each other. But you know, when there's a spiritual connection like these two have right there, uh, when one feels left out in the cold, the other one does too. The secret to, you know, changing all this is that big old lit up building right there, which is source to me, you know. They should go up the stairs, up to the big lit up building, you know, source right there. Uh, that's where that agape love is that we're looking for anyway, that God kind of love. Hmm? It's with Grandpa, Grandma, who's ever on the other side. We'll call them your ancestors, your angels, your higher self, the other part of you that stays in the 5D. Tucking up on them, getting that connection real sweet. Always puts grease on the wheels in the 3D between these two right here. Yeah, somebody may have been doing that with Ace of Cups, huh? Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles is about some lovers reconnecting. Ace of Wands showing up in the recent past. It's a passionate new beginning. If these two have anything in common, it's passion. And there's a divine love here, too. Look at two aces. On top of Six of Cups and Five of Pentacles. A passionate new beginning. Has the potential to manifest for you right here, Pisces. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, and there's a fire sign right up on top of this spread. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is shown back up from my Pisces, many of you. Definitely King of Wands is somebody that's good looking, charismatic, uh, can have entrepreneur energy about themselves, very passionate. I mean, there's that wand in his hand. Oh, hi, here's my wand. Male or female. I don't put gender with these right there. I like how the King of Wands of the Terra Illuminati got his hand on his chin right there. Because he's thinking about somebody, huh? Sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet with all this water, this Pisces energy right here. Pisces may have left him out in the cold, whatever. Both of them were separated from each other, but uh, we got a passionate beginning coming in here with a king of wands. There's my queen of love. This is a nice love story. Oh, here we go. My queen of love. There's Pisces right there. I like that both of them are showing up as a king and a queen, you know. May have balanced out a lot of energy right here between these two. My queen of love is my empath. She's the one with psychic abilities, intuition out of the, off the charts, a healer. She can heal people mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually just by being around them. She has that big giant cup of love. She holds dear up to her heart. It's right here in the middle of the spread, that cup of love. Huh. Here we go. Wow, man, what a reading right here. Nine of Cups. You know, the old wish fulfillment card, bells ringing, huh? Celebration. This, this is, this is a Pisces that's been wanting a reunion with this person here. I did have, when I was shuffling the, uh, Romance Angels, I did have the reconciliation card jump up off camera. 
Uh, this is a nice card. I mean, somebody's showing up with the nine cups, and uh, here's the tenth cup right in the middle, you know, the happy ever after. The happy ever after absolutely has the potential to manifest for my Pisces right there. Definitely bells ringing for a Pisces, my queen of love. Exterior influence, uh, it couldn't be better in my opinion. The high priestess, it's Cancer Pisces. This is my Pisces right here, the one that's been working on themselves. You know, during these periods of separations between these divines right here, this is a divine, Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups, the soulmates that play with each other. There's always separation in this game. It causes spiritual awakenings, in my opinion. You know, and that's what the High Priestess is about. There may have been silence between these two because she's, you know, still and silent. Intuition. Psychic abilities, the dreamer, these two were probably even dreaming about each other for a while in the 5D, interacting with each other in the 5D during this period of five of pentacles. I like the high priestess showing up right there. This is about being led and guided by the divine. Both of these people are. Ace of swords coming out, another ace. Three aces coming out from my Pisces, the ace of swords, clarity, truth, communication, honesty, love the crown, huh? Integrity has the olive branch and the palms, which talk about peace between these two. The sword is sharp. It's able to cut things out that no longer serve you for your highest purpose. Maybe uh, they did right here, you know, because that old king, good-looking, charismatic, generally got a lot of people in their back pocket. They're popular, to say the least. Huh. They popular, ain't that right, Pisces? They may have cut all that shit out of their life because they can't think about anything but their queen of love right here, who is the high priestess. <laughs> Here we go, and and some, no surprise to me. Uh, four of Cups on the top of the spread. It is that card of reevaluation because this old king, this old fiery energy right here, regardless of what zodiac they are, they've been showing up in Pisces readings for a very long time. The old. Card of reevaluation. Pisces sitting under the old tree right there, looking at love, past, present, projected future. Wondering if this is the old golden cup. Is this the golden cup? It sure enough keeps showing back up in my world. I think I'm just going to take a minute here and sit under the tree before I get up and tie the old yellow ribbon around that old oak tree right there, huh? They definitely ring your bells, but they, they surely need to come in, you know, because Nine of Cups can talk about them showing up, celebration, happiness, joy, and bliss, but them hiding that 10th cup behind those golden curtains right there, you know, and it can be a little bit somebody that's a little bit prideful, puffed up, dare I say, a little haughty. And, you know, that energy can go with that old king right up there. Be it male or female. Be it male or female. They definitely need to show up with the golden cup. They also need to show up with truth, clarity, integrity. You know, because this journey has taken my Pisces to become the high priestess right there. She can see through this situation like glass anymore. There ain't no fool in her. And she is, she has a cup on top of the, she has a lid on top of this cup. That's because that's where she keeps all these spiritual gifts. And she's not going to let this just go frilly willy. Because somebody that rings her bells showing back up in her world. Now take a minute and look at it. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Now my empress has showed up. Hmm. The Empress has showed up in the spread. Doesn't surprise me. This is Venus. I 
that is connected to Taurus, Libra, and I also connect Aries with this card. May mean something to you, may not. But this is agape love. It is uh, Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. She's all about new beginnings in love and new beginnings in abundance. She's always birthing something new and something creative. Something's being birthed here. Eight of Pentacles. Definitely going to have to put some work in it. I mean, this Empress would know that uh, there definitely needs to be some work put in on this situation right here. I mean, there was Five of Pentacles for a reason. Hmm. Somebody likes the wand a lot. Mm hmm And somebody uh, loves spirituality a lot. May still be some kind of vibrational difference right here between these two. Many times there is, you know. And I do believe that Pisces is going to, you know, take a look at the situation. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups talks with me about knowing the fact that what you own owns you. Because this has showed up in my Pisces readings all year long. And we're all looking at the situation where we want to bring this stuff into a new decade, not just a new year. Huh? Seven of Cups, you know, there's going to have to be putting some work in it. They are definitely going to have to show up as the Empress, Venus incarnate in the sensual earth. Or I'm not sure if Pisces is going to play with them this time around. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what the Witch's Tarot has to add to this, Pisces. <clears throat> you know, when you do this kind of work on the inside of you, don't be surprised if those old soulmates show back up for you. There is a vibrational connection between the two and all of that. But I want you to do what's best for you. It certainly looks like Pisces is going to do what's best for them. They ain't rushing and jumping at this offer. They know that what they own owns them. Seven of Cups. They know that this person's probably had a lot of Seven of Cups in their life, huh? They know that there needs to be hard work put into this situation. And this Pisces that I'm talking to has put a lot of hard work into themselves right here. During this period of separation, Five of Pentacles right here. And here they come, showing back up, because they can't think about anything but their queen of love, their high priestess, their empress. I like it. I do. All right. Tell love team, what is six of cups and ace of cups about right here? The chariot came out. Oh, these are definitely divines. Uh, cause the chariot card for me shows the, shows the, the dark pony and the light pony, the wild ponies, but the charioteers tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, not letting the wild ponies pull the chariot where they wanted to go. My charioteer, he drives the chariot or she drives the chariot exactly where they want it to go. Towards victory. In the mundane, this can talk about travel and movement. Maybe this person lives at a little bit of a distance from you. All of that. But it is a victory card on top of Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups in the middle of the spread. Very powerful. Very powerful. Here we go. Five of Pentacles. Why is it on this spread, love team? Well, there they come, huh? Coming in for their Pisces. They come a-galloping in. You know, why? This is at the base of the spread. They are romantic. Hi, Pisces. Here's my cup. Every time they come around, the waterfalls, whoosh, starts coming down. Nine of cups, bells ringing and all that. But where the hell is the tenth cup? Oh, you're keeping it in your hand. You know, it is that non-committal energy, very romantic, you know, the one that makes your heart go boom, da boom da boom 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 There they are, and it, 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 they, they're going to make your heart go boom da boom because it is Six of Cups, it is the Ace of Cups, it is the Chariot. Uh, 
you make their heart go boom diddy boom diddy boom 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 as well. Right there, that old king of wands would be like, you can't think about nothing but my Pisces. Ace of Wands here, you know, but Pisces wants some solid commitment in this situation. Pisces has done some serious spiritual growth here. I am totally impressed with the spread if this is resonating with you. Ace of Wands, please. Why is it on this spread for my Pisces? It's Nine of Swords. And that would absolutely be them from what I see right here, you know. Uh, them being left out in the cold. Pisces left them out in the cold, didn't you? You set them in the timeout chair. Nine of Swords is the old sleepless nights. The wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas, the anguish. They're up at night. You know, in this kind of connection, they could be keeping my Pisces up at night too. Get your sleep. Don't pick up that energy from them. Mm -mm. It ain't yours. It's them. It's source working on them. I mean, these kind of spiritual awakenings come when we go through dark night of the soul. Ain't that right? My high priestess, my queen of cups, my empress. Let source do their work. That's not your energy to carry. Put on some nice vibrational music or something and go to sleep. Let source do the work right here. That's my advice. King of Wands, why are they crowning this spread? A five of Pentacles came out again, confirming that this king don't like feeling left out in the cold. Or queen, whoever that is right there, huh, Pisces? They don't like it at all. It showed up twice at the base of the spread. So you set them in the timeout chair. And the reason why you set them out in the timeout chair is because of the lover and the noncommittalness of the, of the, the one that makes the heart go boom, 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 boom. And did the spiritual work on yourself. Loving yourself more than that burning love that you have for that person right there. Hmm. Queen of Cups on the spread. Why is she here? Thank you, love team. The magician, Pisces. The magician showed up, my very magic friend. You're manifesting them showing back up in your life. The magician has all four aces, all about new beginnings, ace of swords, ace of pinnacles, ace of cups, emotionally balanced, and the Ace of Wands, still know what you're passionate about right there. You know, the magician is all about as above, so below, as within, so without. The magician is Mercury, that is uh, Virgo, Gemini, and I connect Aries with that myself. Mercury is the planet of communication. There will be communication here. It's probably going to come in from them because they are tired of being left out in the cold. They know if they're going to catch their empress that they're going to have to put hard work into it and that they have realized themselves with Seven of Cups from what I'm getting right here that what they owned, owned them on this journey that they were on. They didn't like being without you. My magician. Look at how magic this Pisces is right here. Wow. Nine of Cups, please. Why is Nine of Cups on this spread? Bell's ringing. Bell's ringing right here. Here we go. The old king of love has showed up. Right there, man. The king and the queen of love. The king and the queen of cups. This is somebody that loves you very deeply. But they have a problem of letting you know that. He's, he's, he's not paying attention. How she holds that cup dear to her heart. He has his cup, but he's not focused on it. You know, they have one foot in the water and one foot out of the water. You know, he holds that cup dearly. I see it right here. But I like how this person is changing from this knight into a king because they want their queen. Yeah. They're dreaming about you all day long too, man. They, they can't get you out of their thoughts, man. 
Here we go. High Priestess, why is she on this spread? Oh. Yep, High Priestess, that's where I'm at. Thank you. My very magic High Priestess, why is she on this spread? Three of Swords. See? This Pisces is tuned in right here. They're going to sit under the tree for a minute. Because this person needs to show that cup, don't they? The old three of swords right there. Lots of threes here. You know what I'm going to do? This is about heartache and heartbreak. Because of all this seven of cups bullshit over here. But with a divine partner. You know what I'm going to do, huh, Pisces? Let's shake these out. You ready, my friend? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Pisces heart. Out. Like I say, my high priestess can see through this like it's glass anymore. Holding that ace of swords up there because, you know, if they don't come in and fly right, if they don't put the hard work in of the eight of pentacles, I call this the belly of the blacksmith's forge. That's hard work. If they don't want to put the hard work in, ace of swords is right there. That sharp is able to cut things out that no longer serve you for your highest good because that ain't serving you no more. It did cause a spiritual awakening in this Pisces. Through the roof, man, the queen of love, the high priestess, the empress. Hmm? And you know, these people are spiritual catalysts. Who people? These six of cups people. They're spiritual catalysts for us, if nothing else, propelling us into a whole new world of spirituality. Imagine that as we're going into the age of Aquarius, that world of high vibration and new age philosophy and all that. Yeah, don't be surprised, man, if you uh, run into a soulmate and they are nothing more than a spiritual catalyst for you. Ace of Swords, please. Why is it here? Because of Five of Swords. Five of Swords. This person definitely wasn't good to my Pisces at, at all. At all. The hopefully Nine of Swords, they got some definite remorse about it anymore. The would of the should have the could have. I should have been better to my Pisces. I shouldn't have broken their heart. They leave me on the cold. I'm missing my soulmate, my twin flame, my life partner, my magic one, my magician. Mm, five of swords right there is about doing what's best for you. Standing up and putting yourself up in the front of the picture. Mm. I'll leave it at that right there. Four of cups for Pisces here. The old reevaluation card crowning the spread. I got strength from the universe. Leo energy showing up here may mean something to you, may not. Strength from the universe while you go through this situation is definitely a polarital difference between the two. The beauty and the beast. Pisces is trying to tame a beast right here. No doubt about it. Bottom of the spread is justice. We don't get justice unless uh, there's been some injustice. That is about the balancing of karma. I feel a good vibration with this Pisces. I want you to continue to put yourself first and do what's best for you. Let the situation unfold. You know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. They need to come in with justice. This is Libra energy on the spread right here. They need to come in with the golden coin. This is the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. Huh? The quintessential universal dream. How many aces is that? One, two, three, three aces on the spread. And three aces is always about prosperity and abundance, which I know, man, you know, you're flying high. Your coin's probably right as well, you know, but that ain't your focus. Your focus is this past life lover right there, healing yourself, keeping yourself strong, taming the beast within, taming the beast without, and there needs to be justice, and they need to come in with a solid offer. This is a nice solid offer. The only problem with this pinnacle is that it can take a hell of a long time to unfold. Right here, I have my Queen of Wands. I got my King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. I have my King of Cups, and now my Queen, excuse me, my King of Wands. Get this right, Mike. And my Queen of Wands. 
So these are soulmates right here, very passionate about each other. There's passion and there's love. And I like that they're showing up as the kings and the queens, which tells me that this has potential. And you know that, they ring your bells, but you also know five of swords that you need to do what's best for you and continue to love yourself first. I mean, look at the work that that's done with my Pisces right here to love themselves first. And this is my queen of wands. She's very magic. I love her. This is witchy poo. She is the life of the party. The party doesn't start until she shows up. This person knows that. She's good looking, charismatic, passionate, the queen of passion. She also knows her self-worth. And if she's not showed the worthiness that she's worthy of, she will move on because I'm sure that you have seven of cups available to you as well with this kind of high vibration energy around you. Seven of Pentacles is the old divine timing and uh, temperance came out off of the bottom of the witch's tarot. These are both cards of divine timing, patience, Michael right there. Uh, doing the work, the blending of the sacred masculine, blending of the sacred feminine. I know that you don't want to hear this at the end, but it really says to keep your eyes open, you know, make sure that the proof is in the love pudding right here. But I know you got lots of offers for you out there, Pisces. Uh, this is an amazing spread, you know. I do want to say that uh, with the temperance card, there's always a rainbow. Why? Well, in my opinion, these angelic hosts, they know the truth that we create our own reality by what we think, what we feel, and what we believe. So they stare at rainbows or they sugarcoat things because they want it to come down the sugar slide from the divine for them. Mm -hmm. Old Temperance talks about being balanced, talks about all the cooperative components having the potential to come together for you here, about being at the right place at the right time. It is a nice spread. They uh, do not want to be without my Pisces anymore. They are remorseful and uh, they know they didn't do you right. See, five of swords and them with nine of swords. They know, they know. They need to come in here and fix the situation. Pull that 10th cup out is what they need to do. And it is right here in the middle of the spread. Just saying. Love cards on this for Pisces, please. New love came in. New love. This could be, uh, you know, uh, a past life lover from another lifetime. Could be somebody that you already know. But it's definitely a card of an upgrade in love between some lovers. Oh, there it is right there. It jumped out. I wanted to show up in this spread. Reconciliation. Now, again, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people want this card. This Pisces that I'm talking to right here does with Nine of Cups. They want to see if this can fly this time. They definitely spanked him and put him in the timeout chair. Right over there, man, because of Five of Swords. And all these fives talk about change. Change coming because of the contrast. Contrast is our friend because it shows us what we don't want so that we can focus on what we do want, the rainbow right there on the temperance card. Now, if you don't want this person in your life, no need sending me a text or in the comments, huh? If you don't want them in your life, then you tell them if they come banging at your door, kick rocks. Mike told me you were coming out of here. If you do, then put your best foot forward and expect them to do the same as well. Engagement came out. An upgrade in a relationship, to say the very least, has the potential to come out of this right here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. See, this person knows that they need to be committed to their Pisces right here. It's a beautiful love story. Here we go. Here we go. Major Arcana on this for Pisces, please. Look at the high priestess came out. Look at this Pisces right here. Billy Badass Lightworker is who I'm talking to right here. You can see through this situation like glass. Definitely has caused some kind of deep spiritual awakening from a Pisces right here. I love all the green, which talks about keeping your heart chakra open to the universe, allowing that agape love to come in to you. And of course, 
back out to the universe. Of course, it's going to wash over the head of your friend right there. And bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Imagine that, huh? The Hierophant, you know, Pisces, this Pisces probably knows that this person is, you know, some kind of deep spiritual connection. The Hierophant showing up is a five. He's contrast, but he's, a, he's about major change coming, you know. He's the institution of the sacred. That's what this is that I'm looking at right here, and it's Pisces putting it all together. Could go all the way, and you know it. Pisces, hope you enjoyed this reading. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye for now.